Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Well, the topic today is cause and effect in SI This is one of the most common rhetorical modes or types of essay that students are instructed to write Okay, let's get started What is cause and effect? Cause and effect SI Examine the reasons why a situation or even a course and the outcomes that are involved as a result. For example, why do people tend to offer it? These questions require you to think of reasons or cases for offering. On the other hand, these questions would happen as a result of offering focuses on the effect or consequences of offering. In fact, let's take a look at this topic a little more closely by brainstorming possible cases and effects for its questions that could become an outline for an essay assignment. Okay, let's take a look at the first questions. What causes people to offerate? Here are some possible causes for offerating. Stress, skipping meals, boredom. Now to use this point in an essay, you would need to think of more detail and example to support each of this point in the body of an essay. Let's take a look at the next questions. What are the effects of authority? Obesity, health problems, vertigo. All of these are possible consequences or effects of authority. Let's talk about organizing the essay. There are several ways to organize a cause and effect essay. Some essay might concentrate on causes while others might focus only on effects. Some topics require a combination of both. The key is to clearly discuss cause and effect without mixing them together or forgetting to give detail for one of the other. Let's take a look at three possible structures. The first essay structure focuses on causes. This can also be used to write a paper that focuses only on effect. The second structure combines both causes and effect in the body of the paper by alternating discussions of the causes first, followed directly by a discussion of the effect. Be careful if you use this structure, and make sure that every cause and every effect is balanced. The last structure also combines causes and effect. However, this outline details all of the causes first, then discusses all of the effect without alternating back and forth. Use your topic to help you choose the most effective organizational structure. A cause makes something happen, these are points to remember about cause and effect. And in fact, is a result of something that happens. Remember the cause usually happens first, and the effect is result that come after. Look at this example. She hit the brakes to let and smash into the car in front of her. The first half of the sentence is the cause she hit the brakes too late, and the second part is the effects passed into the car in front of her. Now let's take a look at phrases that signify whether a paragraph is talking about a cause or in effect in topic prompts or paragraphs in the body of an essay. These phrases serve as clues in determining if the focus is on causes or effects. For example, to show causes you might see this word, give reason why, explain why, why what is the cause of, another factor, because, result from. To show effects these phrases are some you might see, the result of, consequently, what is the impact of, one important effect, another result, outcome, or as a result. And let's take a look at cause and effect in action. Read this paragraph then decide if it focuses on cause or effect. 
you might want to pause the presentation to read this paragraph. This paragraph focus and on costs. Okay, let's take a look at another paragraph. Again, you might want to pause the presentation here in order to read this paragraph. This paragraph focus on effects. Here are some testable topic for a cause and effect SI with more options on the next two concluding slides. But before choosing one of these, ask your instructor for a specific assignment, requirements, and additional topic choices. Hopefully you have a better understanding of the cause and effect SI after viewing these presentations. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.